Good morning, guys. It is producer Mr. Mig of Max Beats here, and we're going to do a little tutorial on creating a beat in Ableton Live 10. All right, so let me see what's going on here. In Ableton Live 10, you have a browser window to your left here, and um, that is where your entire library is stored. So what I'm gonna do here to start doing this beat is I'm gonna to go to my packs over here on the left. So you have places, then you have packs. And I'm gonna grab the first kit, it's called an, the Abyss Kit, which is, yeah, Biscuit, which is under beat tools. Now, if you have Ableton Live 10, then you have some amazing tools to work with. You um, have some really great pre-installed packs and sample sets. I like to go to beat tools and then go to drums, hit the little triangle here and grab the Abyss Kit. That's the little demo playing right now. I like to grab the Abyss Kit and just drag it to the first track, your first MIDI track, okay? So over here you can see we are in session view. We're not in, um, I'm sorry, we're in a range view. We're not in a uh, session view. So um, this would be session view right here where actually you can make a beat here too. So you know what? Let's do it really easily here. Let's go here to the uh, session view, which looks more like a traditional mixer which has your tracks lined up in the bottom, across the bottom from left to right, like a mixer would be. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in this first section, which contains the kit that we just dragged in, the Abyss Kit, and we're gonna make a blank MIDI area, one bar area. Now, it's one bar, and you'll see why. When I double click this, it'll open up this section. This is where you're gonna draw your beat in. To the left here, you see length, it's one. If you go like this and scroll up, you can make it two bars, three bars, four bars. We're gonna make it more than one bar, but we're gonna start with one bar. So the way to do, the way to do this is, let's just let this stop for a minute. Hit the space bar. What I did right now is I just hit play up here in this little square, and that's the first MIDI pattern, but it's blank right now. So what I can do is I can, I can let it play and I can enlarge this here by just dragging up. I can start messing with some of these sounds, all right? So we have, um, you have to make sure you put the uh, little headphone icon on here. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this cursor and turn it into a, a drawing tool by clicking B. So I click B and I start draw, drawing in pieces. Now, I wanna make a rap beat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tempo right here, which is at 120, and I'm gonna double click and I'm going to just enter in a new tempo, which I'll put 80 for modern R&B and hip hop. It's, um, you know, you're anywhere from 65 to 85 or 90 on, on, a, on a regular day. So most of the trap tracks that you hear out there and, and your rappers that you're hearing in the top 10 right now, they're doing tracks that are very down tempo, um, considered down tempo from years ago. You know, so things are getting to be a little bit more laid back, which is really cool. I like the break up. I still like doing dance music, but this is great to get to just create a beat that really just lives on its own and it's easy to kind of follow and it's got some really good rhythmic movement, which you could do on a slower beat. So, okay, so I'm gonna hit the space bar. One, two, three, four, five, it's the four count. I'm going to draw in the snare next. Ready? All right, so let me hear this one. That's a blip. This is actually the kind of snare we want right here. So I'm going to actually draw over that, and it's going to remove it. The first snare that I put in, I didn't like that blippy sound. All right, so let me see what else sounds we have here. All right, so we have a, a hi-hat here. A hi hat roll, which is already kind of already did some really cool things. Kind of already patterned out this hi hat roll, um, but I actually want to make our own roll. So I'm going to grab um, this hat here, and we're going to draw in. Right now we're set. If you look over here, we're set to one sixteenth. So there's sixteen beats per bar right now, which gives you that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's per, for one bar, you have those 16 um, beats. So what we're gonna do right now is, we are going to take this, this pencil icon here, we're gonna click, and we're gonna drag straight across, all right? Now we're gonna hit play. 
See how that was 16 times that hi-hat played? All right, so what we could do now is we can actually start creating little rolls in there. But first, I want to make sure we have a good kick pattern and things are really moving. We have a one bar loop right now. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change the length of this pattern to two bars. So now you can see we have a whole other bar to the right here that's empty. So I'm going to hit B to go back to my cursor. Oops. See, if you double click, even with just a normal cursor, you'll, you'll still be able to draw in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Command A on my Mac and Control A on, on a PC. And I'm going to now drag this entire pattern that I created over here. So now we have a two bar pattern. All right, so cool. So what that does is it gives us room to now play around with some of these other notes here. So we have the kick, which is kind of just straight. It's on the one of each bar. So not doing too much. So I want to now draw in some uh, other kick uh, pieces here. So we'll go. I like to sound out the beat in my head too. So like I'll go boom, boom, boom. So I want to create that boom, boom. And then maybe it go ba bum 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 ba bum. All right, it's too early. And as it rolls around, it creates that bum bum again. So I'm gonna add one more in the middle here somewhere, right here. Maybe I want to add another one here too. All right, so we're working in sixteenths right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna shake things up a little bit here. So I'm gonna go over here and actually I could double click here. Actually I can right click. Sorry. Let me get out of the drawing mode here and right click. And I can go and say, I want to do a um, 30 second, which now takes these little divider lines on your notes here. And it actually creates an extra note. So you can draw smaller pieces. So like your hi-hats are going. We want it to now go, you know, add an extra piece in there. So. So what I'll do is this, I'll hit B and I'll click here and now it'll it'll erase um, half of that 16th note to allow me to add another note right here. See? Do the same here. Maybe get rid of all of these and just draw out four 30 second notes. I can now turn off the metronome, by the way. That metronome has been clicking the whole time and it's not necessary now that the beat is actually coming together. I put it on at the beginning just to make sure that I'm hearing where to place my notes. All right, so let's go even further. So those are 30 second notes. Now let's go to um, our command one. Command one on a Mac um, will now divide your notes even further. So we have it down to 164th, as you can see here. So this is really cool because now you're going to get those real machine gun style notes on these hi hats. So erase, erase, click and drag. Let's hear this. Yeah. All right, so that's a two bar pattern. So now we're gonna make this into a four bar pattern so we can make some fills and some uh, kind of extra movements so that the beat doesn't just get, it doesn't get boring. It's not replaying the same two bars. We'll do some little changes here, dropouts maybe, maybe a filter on something or we'll do a, um, a we could transpose some notes. So this is a really cool trick in Ableton Live.
is that you can transpose, let's transpose some of these hi-hats at the end here, okay? So I'm gonna grab these guys right here, just so you can see what we're doing here. We're gonna play four bars. I wanna play around with these last hi-hats here. So I'm going to transpose those notes, kind of like pitch change them. So what I'm gonna have to do is go here. All right, so we have to click on this element, I'm sorry. Okay, and that brings up envelopes. So what we want is we have MIDI control and then we have pitch bend, see this? So I'm going to draw a pitch bend change on these last hi-hat notes by simply clicking here, clicking here, and then let's just mess around with it. Whatever I do here is not set in stone. This is just to show you guys the capabilities of what you can do with a simple pattern in Ableton Live. I'm gonna do start up here actually, make it more dramatic. So right here, right? We have that like little 30 second pattern that starts here. Let's just go here. Let's see what happens here. So it goes, it goes, that right here will go better than Little things like that breaks up the beat so it's not just the same thing over and over again. So you don't actually actually have to create new parts to make a beat interesting. You just have to kind of work with some of your automation tools and that in itself can make things interesting. All right, so let me get out of here. I'm gonna go back to um, this area here. So once you make that simple beat and you're in um, the session view here, you could click on this, right? And you could drag it simply over to these three horizontal lines, which will now open up your arrangement area. And then you'll drag it right back to the same track, which will be already highlighted. Uh, you can see there's no lines on that track and there's a red triangle, there's a, a triangle to the right here. And then you have this orange one up here. And what the orange one means is when you click this, you're committing to moving from the session view into here. And now you can arrange this little file that you created, this little pattern right here.